Okay, here's a little update on the purple street lights. I'm not going to talk a lot, but I went through a lot of roads here um, up to video 115. And uh, there are purple street lights. Almost every one, if not every one of them, is in a no outlet here. This is South Cedar Niles Boulevard and Cedar Creek Parkway right here. Um, you might remember there was one actually that I had not put on the map over there and I kind of wondered why it was there. Um, there are no purple lights in here and there is a gate right here. Um, there's also like a little pile of gravel here. Uh, if moved any one point to, for off-road travel to cut across and go over here, might not be good. Um, also, that's the case right somewhere here. There's a pile of gravel, even against a freaking light pole, guys. And even extending from there, I think, I don't know if it's like right here or where it is. But just keep in mind, there's a golf course here. Or if it was just put in the road or blocked right here, these people are stuck right here. And there were no purple lights that I found in this whole area. And one, two, three, four, four of them. And these circles all have the same name. They're all South Shadow Circle. So if you try describing this, this to somebody, it's weird. So there's one there. There's also a secondary circle where there's one right there. It's freaking easy probably to not see all the lights and kind of just think they're the same thing. At least from maybe driving through, you may not notice them all, I guess. Um, but looking at that, that's pretty cool. That's in juxtaposition with the highway almost here. Um, if the wind's blowing this way, blowing this way, or blowing that way, it doesn't matter. You still have groups of these lights if, the, if there was something dropped on these. And I've looked through, actually, I have not looked at, actually, yeah, I have not looked at these neighborhoods here. But I've looked at this whole area here. I've also looked at these, and I've also looked at this whole area here. And there are no purple lights there, just right here on the west side. Um, I was not able to go. Oh, scared the out of me. I was not able to go into this area here. Because, well, I don't know if I can or not. There's like a gate there and like a camera. Um, the gate was open, but I'm like, you know, maybe I shouldn't go over there. But I could see orange lights in there, and I don't know that there are any purple lights in that area. Um, I also looked at this whole area here. No purple lights today. Um, the only areas that I missed in this area were like this dead end and this part, I think, up here. I forgot to get that. But I looked at this whole area here um, between video 108 and I want to say 109 in this area. There are those, still those two purple lights. I have not looked at this area here. I have looked at this area there. Already seen this area. So um, I'm pretty much, I'm almost, I want to say I'm almost there. And this is becoming a lot more representative of what it really looked look like. And so for people trying to go this way to get out and go west, that's a problem, I think. I think that's what these are set up for. It looks like they're set up, though, for like a... In some places, it looks like they're set up for like a decameter kind of scale thing. But actually, I'm not really sure. I don't know if they really are or not. I mean, they, a lot of them are, but then when you look at stuff like this, I don't know if there's some kind of way for an algorithm for drones or something to figure out what it is, but like, these are all in dead ends. They obviously were deliberately put in the dead ends. They're still over by this area though. You know, I'm not sure what angle a drone would be looking at it at. But if we go to like 3D, you know, I'm not sure. 
how it would be looking at this. But I find it very interesting. I also wonder if the positions of really bright lights are important. So I'm going to actually turn. Okay, I just want to show that. And where street lights are off, for example. If there is smoke, you can't see the really bright street lights if they're off. So you don't have landmarks. Um, so I'm going to turn this on. Turn purple street lights off. Oh, not those. Not really bright purple street lights. We want to do just bright lights. Okay, I only have two of them in the list right now. I have to go back eventually and figure this out. But I noticed where this is, and I just think it's kind of weird because these lights are off for some reason, and it's mildly dark here. There still are some lights in the lot here. So at least when I was driving here, I'm like, you know, maybe it's not very dark over there. But actually, it is kind of dark here, and this just happens to be where there's water there, water there, and this is pinched between it. Notice also this is pinched between water here. So this is a weak area already, and those lights happen to be off here. And I thought that was kind of strange, but I also noticed that there might be a way, so you can get from here to here and go through this lot. This light is freaking bright, guys, like really, really bright. And I also noticed that, um, like in here at least, the lights are really dim, like just really small kind of dim lights and also similar kinds of lights are in this area but those other lights are off if there's ever like smoke here or something like that a car would have a hard time maybe making a cut and i haven't looked i haven't walked around but there looks like there is a trail here and so it made me kind of wonder if they did it on purpose so that a car uh had to slow down in this area if it wanted to make like a cut sorry my my hand starts shaking after a while holding this um, but maybe they could get up there. Those other lights are over there. And right now, there are some lights that are, oops, geez. There are some lights that are off in this area, and one is off. Um, I did not put them on the map because I don't remember specifically which lights they are, and I have to go find the video. But I think it's kind of an inter interesting thing to look at that I hadn't thought of before. Um... Oh, also, also, it's kind of strange because, okay, I gotta find, okay, right here. There's also like, and I don't know, I haven't looked at this physically during the day, but there's also like a little trail here, for example, and these lights are off just on one side of the road. I don't know if there's a reason for that or what. I don't know, but the other lights on the other side are on, so I don't know if it matters. Um, also, let's see, there's a purple street light here and that's just right next to this, right? Well, notice that there's actually a trail that goes up here that people would likely want to use, right? And you can actually get on there from over here. I think that's kind of interesting, but anyway, yeah, that's my research so far with this. I have a lot more to look at, but I found a lot of purple street lights, and they just happened to be on the west side. I almost, you know, I thought eventually I'd get to this, but I didn't, it wasn't really a priority, but I think it's rather interesting um, that they're on the west side like that. It seems consistent with windblown um, intent. Because they don't put it everywhere, guys, and they put them in the cul-de-sac. There's still the minority lights, and they're still in the the no outlets for some reason and you might think that's just well they don't want to put it on the main roads well if they didn't want to put it on the main roads they wouldn't already put them on the main roads guys they already do that it's actually just psychology guys and they still have a lot of those lights there and from the air um something would see that on the edge of kansas city so i'm not sure if both models could apply like where it's on a decameter or a lower scale or whether it's just about dumping stuff in areas with lots of purple lights. I don't know the answer to that right now. Remember, even these, or whether it can look at an area and see which kind of area it is. Like, because if you look at this, um, where'd it go? 
Okay, let's remove this. If you look at this though, something could see like that there are a lot of them in a certain area, I would think. And no, but like, and also areas like this though, I guess, like there's a line here, right? Kind of formed by these, this because it got replaced. Um, but areas like this, you know, I gotta wonder, actually still might not matter. It could just go like that. But what about areas like this? I guess I haven't looked in every neighborhood around here, but it's it still seems like they care about points at the interstate. So I'm not sure how it works, but I'm still researching. I know there's no way in hell that they accidentally put the lights up. And if you think, well, maybe they just put them up and decide to put them there because they already know that the lights were defective. Well, that's also not the case, guys, because they were also put up in these kinds of areas too. A lot of them were on the interstate from what I have collected from what I've gathered um, here in Kansas City. Also in other places I've looked, I mean, there are places where there is just one little LED that's just starting to turn purple on a light and it's exactly where it would need to be, which means they recently put that up knowing it would become defective, guys. And a lot of these purple lights showed up at those locations already. So they already knew. They also played a game with this and replaced them. And who knows, they, the ones they replaced could have actually been put somewhere else in another city. This is a setup that they already planned in doing, guys. So it absolutely is a conspiracy. There's, it's absolutely incorrect to say that the purple streetlights are not on purpose. They are absolutely on purpose, and they went through some trouble to try to make it hard to see. And that's what they did here, because they put them in the freaking cul-de-sacs, guys, or the, the little no outlets. Like four of them right here, a total of five in this area. No way, guys. It's not accidental. Uh-uh. And this is like where you'd want to leave. One of the roads you'd want to leave on. They didn't, I mean, there are other areas that it seems like they didn't care about. Over here, I haven't looked at every single spot here, but I've looked at a lot of places. I think that I've actually looked at every area right here and a few of them over here. But if you really think about that, what is there over here, guys, to go up on? It, only, it doesn't even matter here. It only matters up by here. If it's wind blowing, either way, it's probably in the winter time. It might be blowing down here. That that works. In the summertime, it could be blowing up here. So it doesn't matter. They don't need to put them over here, guys. And if you're on college, you still have. There's no way out over here. You guys see that? You either go up here and you go through some right there. Or you go up here and you're still kind of west of this area. There aren't any here. Um, or, let's see. Yeah, you don't have any other options, guys. It's rather interesting to me. It does, it's not accidental. It's on purpose. It looks like it's for the wind. Um, and with that, I'm going to stop for right now. Um, I encourage you to share this with people. This is in the Kansas City area. Um, please do the same thing and start uploading videos of where these lights are. Help me make this map. Help help me complete this map of purple street lights, guys. And also road work. Okay? Alright, thanks.